everybody. Welcome to uh, just me. This is me at home. You guys, I I really become a different person when I'm at home. I'm I'm devious here. I have a lot of dance parties. I'm really still sweaty from the last one. Um, Hot and Cold by Katy Perry is really, really getting to me. And yeah, this is my days where I'm home. And then I'm going to go to New York. So soon. On Tuesday. Today is Sunday. Today I need to finish my paper. I need to finish my paper. And then I need to pack. And I have to see my grandma tomorrow. And yeah. Anyway, just wanted to start this vlog out. Um, I'm feeling really good. This is, um, yeah, this is me. This is who I am. So, I'll give you an update on like what's been happening the past few days. So I got home on Friday. Just kidding, Thursday. And my my plan was to get my IUD on Friday. So I go in Friday. I'm like really pumped up, really excited. They're like, oh my gosh, like you're in such a great mood. They were like opening me up with the the spec, spe, the the speculum, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Oh, you're doing so well! Like you're doing so good! Like your breathing is really good! Like it's good! Like stuff is going in me at this point." We're like talking, it's whatever. It was a really good experience. I was having a really good time, and then all of a sudden they can't get it in me. They cannot get the IUD in me. They're like measuring, but then they like try to put like the IUD in it. So there's like a long stick, which is like what measures your uterus. So they know like how far to put in the IUD so that they're not just like inserting the IUD anywhere. So they measure it and they measured it to like seven centimeters or something. But then when they tried to get the IUD in, it was measured like less than seven meters, but it should have been the same. But... I was kind of confused what happened because it's like the IUD like actual insertion tube is like so much more flexible so I guess it doesn't really like go back very well and then we were also having trouble like opening up my cervix but yeah so they thought that my cervix just wasn't really open enough so then they gave me drugs and then I had an appointment later that day so that we could try again but I went to a different place so then they tried and then they were like whoa something doesn't feel right and i was like okay like my legs were spread open i was so ready so prepared i was feeling the cramps i was like bring it on baby bring it on right like let's do it i don't know why i have like so much enthusiasm about this but i just i was excited it was like a good like womanly moment for me and so yeah they're like something feels off like we can't do this like yeah and i'm like okay like yeah like thank you like you should like it doesn't feel right but then they call in this like doctor so that they can do an ultrasound because they're like let's see like where so at this point they're like measuring back to see where it should go and they can like feel it's like not going in the right spot like up my cervix because it's supposed to go like directly in my cervix but it's like not going that way so then they call in a doctor with like a whole ultrasound. So I literally get like an ultrasound on my stomach. Like I'm having like a fucking child. It was actually really cool. I really enjoyed it. They like put the gel on me and they were like feeling around and stuff. And then they realized that the measuring stick was like going upwards. It was like veering off. Like it should have been going in my cervix, but it was going like that. I know she drew a picture and that's what makes sense to me. So it was like veering off. So basically they, the previous doctor made like a hole 
in my uterus lining so if they were to insert the IUD it would have gone like on the lining of my uterus instead of like just directly in my cervix because it's supposed to like sit like just like in your uterus like that but it would have been like in the lining if they would have put it in because they like accidentally made a hole anyway <laughs> um it'll heal i guess it's not that big of a deal i talked to my neighbor who's an OBGYN and or my mom did and she said it was okay Yeah, it's fine. Hopefully I'll get one like at some point because I just like the idea of like having it in and like not having to think about anything. But, but yeah, I don't have an IUD. The universe does not want me to have an IUD. If you know anything about me trying to get an IUD for the past 10 months, you know that it's been a struggle. It's been really difficult, but a lot of ups and downs. But yeah, that's the story of how I got um, an IUD almost inserted in me twice. But it wasn't like a really bad experience. Like everyone was like super nice. And like it didn't. Oh, also I'm doing dishes. But that's another thing. I made carrot cake and it didn't work out. It turned into like this like this like big like thick pasty pancake like it didn't like rise at all and i'm really confused what i did wrong in the recipe because i followed it exactly like i read it over and then i read it to my dad and i was like did i do something wrong here so i really i don't know what happened but yeah it turned out pretty bad it was kind of a bummer because i really i had like gotten like cream cheese and everything to like make cream cheese frosting and it was gonna be so good but whatever it's fine anyway i'm gonna finish my dishes i did have to stop halfway through these dishes because i had cramps and yeah that's another thing like i don't really know what happened to my body because i've just had like cramps and like spotting but now i think i'm like actually on my period but i can't really tell I'm really confused like what's happening I don't know I'm gonna finish my dishes okay so it turns out I'm gonna end it here um my parents left me alone four hours ago to go play pickleball and in that time I've made this vlog um, and yeah, I realized it's too long. I thought it would maybe carry through till New York, but I think that just deserves a whole nother, a whole nother video. So wish me luck on my paper. Um, yeah. Bye.